れって花柱だああWhat's going on, trainers? Dom from the Otaku Group here, and today we're talking about episode number 51. That's right, 51. And uh, I am extremely excited. If you guys saw the preview, uh, kind of, you know, after, after post ED, after Freed's lesson, uh, we did see that next week it looks like we might get a Pokemon evolution, and that is incredibly exciting so i'm extremely excited for that next week not only are we going to meet the habanero pokemon but it looks like we actually might get an evolution as well make sure you guys check out the post credits um you know the post ed post credits if you guys didn't see exactly uh what pokemon might end up uh evolving next week so make sure you guys check that out all right episode 51 was another episode about Liko becoming a better trainer, I would say. And in looking through the context of this episode, you know, the, the reality is Dot, Roy, and Liko, they were out on another mission, another expedition, another mission from the school to go and, like, capture something or capture the essence of Pokemon in the wild. And one of their goals was to add something useful to the area that they were uh, traveling through. And, you know, basically go in and try and add something useful to the Pokedex, you know, try and, and make like a report of what they saw and what they experienced, which I think is really cool for the school to be able to assign out the students, you know, hey, go and have these experiences. I think that is very crucial uh, to becoming a better trainer. So I really love that. So that's kind of the main crux of the episode or the main kind of like goal was go out and have an experience log it and report it and dots you know secondary goal was like let's find something that's not included in freed's amazing work that he did with the pokedex entries over here let's find something uh additionally so we can add in ourselves so we can kind of be the authors of that which i think is a really really cool goal uh that i would love to accomplish and i imagine like if i were in that world or maybe if you were in that world uh you know obviously my first and foremost goal is chinese I would definitely be the shiny hunter man, but I would also want to go in and add things to uh, things that don't exist yet. I would love to go in and add stuff. I think that'd be really cool. On top of being a Pokemon trainer and being the very best like no one ever was, I think that'd be a really cool mission uh, to go and do that. You know, I think that'd be really, really fun. So I love that, and I love that the kids are able to kind of experience that. I think that's really cool. But the the secondary thing, or like the main thing this episode was, again, Liko becoming a better trainer. And she's becoming a, a better trainer through the partnerships and through the relationships that she's creating. Uh, not only with Hattery, not only with Terrapagos, but with uh, Florigato specifically. And this was another episode to where Florigato was experiencing, you know... A big, she was having big feelings and she was feeling jealousy and Liko wasn't completely spent, you know, putting all her attention on uh, Florigato. And that had me thinking, you know, as as you have played, uh, you know, most recent games or like any Pokemon game. But if you've recently played, you know, Arceus, you know, Arceus, if you recently played, you know, Pokemon Legends Arceus or Scarlet and Violet or Sword and Shield, let's go Pikachu and Eevee, just naming the few that have recently been out. But really, if you've played any Pokemon game, uh, imagine yourself as a trainer and you have all these different Pokemon in your party. You have these six Pokemon in your party and you're trying to manage them. And then you're also catching more Pokemon. And I think one thing that we don't really think about, and I love that they capture that here. And they've captured that in previous season, in previous seasons as well. So don't get me wrong there. But one of the things that they really captured here was how hard it is to be a trainer to manage all these different personalities. Like even if you think of yourself at home and maybe you have more than one animal at home. Maybe you have a dog and a cat and a bird and a fish and whatever, right? If you think you have multiple animals or maybe you have multiple of the same animal, uh, it's kind of hard to sp 
spread out your attention and your love, right? Like it's it's kind of hard to spread that out. So I think that this was really capturing the essence of how hard it is to kind of spread out your attention through the different Pokemon, right? So I kind of feel like that's kind of the thing that's happening here is like as Liko comes into her own as a trainer, she has a lot of different attention to split. And much like any other, uh, you know, training Pokemon trainer adventure goes is like maybe... Uh, you have these two or three Pokemon that are pretty much like you've been training them, like they're pretty much good to go. And then you have the next Pokemon. Uh, let's say, let, let's, let me just throw out a, a random Pokemon. Let's say you have like a Pidgey and you're like, I really want this Pidgey to get into a Pidgeotto. So you're going to put all your, your attention, all your love, get his friendship level up, you know, make sure you're throwing it out on battles and, you know, make sure you're using it as much as possible and get it to evolve into a Pidgeotto. But then as you're doing that, because Liko typically has her other Pokemon out. She has Hattery in the back. She has Florigato out, Terrapagos. As you're doing that, the other Pokemon see you giving this, this attention to them. So it's like they begin to feel emotions because they're living, breathing creatures. So I just think that's so cool. So the rest of the episode was really just focused around Florigato having big feelings. Florigato being really jealous of Terrapagos. Uh, Florigato having it like rolling, rolling her eyes at the fact that she's like, She's like, I got to go find this stupid Pokemon again. It's getting itself in trouble, blah, blah, blah. And eventually, Florigato comes around through uh, through Hatterene. And, you know, she's like, or Hatena. I keep saying Hatterene, right? Uh, through Hatena. Uh, you know, and, you know, Hatena is like trying to help the Tropicals because, you know, it fell on its back. And it's like, it like, help me. And even, even Tropicals looked at it like, you know, come on, bro. Uh, and um, eventually... Florigato gave in, and then we had the really cool scene of Liko meeting all the different, um, all the different Toad Scroll, and I thought that was a really cool thing as well too. We found out a really icky fact that the Toad Scroll shed their skin, uh, and they look like flower petals, but it's really just they're shedding like their flaps, they're shedding their skin. I was like, ew, ew, ew. Uh, but she helps all the Toad Scroll. Uh, you know, and they, they have this big, you know, flower tornado, and it's a really beautiful moment that they share between her, between Florigato, between Terrapagos, between Hatena, uh, and, you know, an, an experience unlike any other. Um, her only downfall was that she didn't record any of it, but she did very much live in the moment with uh, Florigato, and she was able to, you know, I would say increase their friendship level overall, so... Really adorable, adorable episode. I loved it. Uh, again, I love the lessons that it teaches. You know, if you're a kid watching this show, uh, you might look at your dog after this and you might have to be like, I got to go play with Fluffy. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I really love the, you know, the little lessons that it teaches here of to, um, you know, continue to love and continue to never give up because Liko could easily give up on trying to get through to Florigato, but she doesn't. And I think those those lessons are really, really cool for children who might be watching the show. And it's something that I think we all can take, you know, is uh, never give up on the things that you love. So I think that's really cool. So anyways, episode 51 of Pokemon Horizons, Chef's Kiss, really adorable episode. Loved it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below, trainers. And of course, I'll see you guys next week. Make sure you guys hit like before you guys leave. See you for episode 52. Peace out.